Hello. Can you see me? Hi. No, I can see you. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Well, uh, I can see you. No, I don't know no, it's a problem about the connection. So, oh wait. Disculpe. <laughs> okay. Uh, we start anyway. What is okay, está bien. Quiere, okay. Quieren uh, hablar en inglés, ¿verdad? No en español. Eh, lo que tú prefieras. Si hablas no, en inglés, no. lo traducimos a español y si lo hablas en español, lo hacemos en inglés. Después lo subimos a YouTube, así que lo que a ti más te guste, Philip. Uh, probablemente uh, más fácil en inglés y después puede, pueden uh, traducir en a uh, español, sí. All right. Nice. Okay. Uh, well, hi, everybody. Uh, welcome. First of, first of all, I would like to thank you for taking the time for this interview, Philip. I really appreciate it. It's very important for all of us and, and for me. It's very important. Uh, so, thanks. Uh, you sh I usually ask some some questions about the person's life, but this time we will do we will do it differently. I let you uh, to you tell us a little bit about yourself. Do you? Okay, that's fine. Um, so, uh, <laughs> I you you sent me some questions and I, and so I read over them a little bit and about me, and I see my book. The cover for my book in the background behind you. So, yes. yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah. So my life story from my life in Korea as a child to to my life in Chicago, and even even my uh, even a picture and my story when I was in Argentina um, is yeah. mentioned. All all of that is mentioned in the book. So. Uh, for those who can understand English, please try to read the book, or you could listen to the book in audio. Uh, called the app is called Audible. I don't know what it what it would be in Argentina, but Amazon or or Audible is how you could read my I, my story or hear my story, my life story. We 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 can buy your book, your audio book, and your book uh, through Amazon. Yes. Okay. The audio book put... is is called Audible. Yes. Okay. Later, I I will put the links for for your your book and your audio book. Okay. Great. Muchas gracias. <laughs> it's it's very impressive that you talk a uh, very good uh, Spanish. Well, uh, I speak mostly so. Even though I, I've been to Argentina and and uh, Colombia one time, I speak my Spanish is mostly Chicago Spanish, so it's going to sound like uh, Mexican Spanish, you know, Central American Spanish. So, like like Danny, like Daniel. Well, yeah, yeah but hopefully better than Daniel. No, <laughs> Dan <laughs> Daniel. Uh, yeah, he's from the south side of Chicago where I practice. So. So, yeah, it's going to sound similar, right? Okay, nice. But I, I, since you asked me to say a little about me, yeah, yeah I will tell you that, uh, that uh, I will give you a very quick paraphrase of my life story that's uh, detailed in my book. So I was born in Korea, yeah. South, South Korea. I came to the United States when I was eight years old. Uh, didn't know English, did not know English. And so I struggled uh, as a student and this made me struggle with uh, self-esteem and, and discipline. And even though I took martial arts from my father who is a eighth Don, eighth degree black belt in Taekwondo, I still struggled with discipline until I started uh, university, college, um, when um, 
then I, my father and I decided uh, we sh I should study medicine because with with that skill I could help anyone in the world at at any time, which is a very unique skill to have. And I said, okay, that sounds good. Uh, I will give it a try. I didn't think I I was smart enough or disciplined enough to become uh, a doctor, uh, a medical. But before I knew it, um, the goal made me change, made me morph. Like, <laughs> in, um, and I became very disciplined. And and before I knew it, I got into medical school. And also, while I was in college, I started teaching uh, Taekwondo. And this helped me also to become disciplined. Even though I took Taekwondo growing up, I didn't really apply it in, to my life uh, until I started teaching it. And so the, the combination, combination of those two things made me become disciplined and change my, uh, my character. Um, not Mortal Kombat character. I was not in Mortal Kombat yet um, until, no. uh, until uh, anyway, so I became accepted into medical school and and pretty soon I became a family doctor. And then while I was training to be a, a family doctor, I was asked to be in Mortal Kombat 2, uh, mostly be, uh, through contacts, through, through Ho Sung Pak, who played Liu Kang in Mortal Kombat 1. I, I happened to, uh, when I was in medical school, when I would, take study breaks, I would go do some martial arts at times and with Ho Sung and his brother, whose name is Ho Young. And um, so Ho Sung invited me to work out uh, with him again in Chicago. And, and um, that there I met other people besides uh, um, Ho Sung, I met Daniel, and um, the other characters there from Mortal Kombat 1. And pretty soon, Mortal Kombat 1 became very popular. And um, Daniel in introduced me to the makers of the game, who I did not know before, they, Ed Boone and John Tobias. And they liked what I could do and, and how I looked, at, I suppose. And so... Uh, they invited me to be part of Mortal Kombat 2. And, and then uh, this question I know comes up all the time, uh, but they offered me the part of Shang Tsung or the ninjas, you know, uh, Scorpion, uh, Sub-Zero, Sub Reptile, so forth. And I knew that Daniel already played those characters, and so I said, uh... Daniel, why don't you do it? Um, and I'll play young Shang Tsung. And um, even though I was going to be in a video game, I didn't know that much about video games because I, I was too busy studying, you know, I, so I didn't play that much. And so I just anticipated doing martial arts moves um, and, and then the rest uh, were were going to be used by Daniel, John, and Ed to develop this game. Uh, did I play a part in creating some of the moves? Sure. I mean, my I had a Taekwondo training, not Kung Fu, not the Chinese martial arts. So uh, Shang Tsung is a Chinese character. And so like in Mortal Kombat 3, he has a, a a stance that's more like a kung fu stance, you know. But but my my stance and my kicks and my my techniques are all from my taekwondo background, and um, and they they still worked with that and and they liked how it how it came out in in the video game uh, to still portray the powerful sorcerer, uh, young Shang Tsung. Okay, that's the long and short of 
how I got involved with Mortal Kombat 2. I didn't know that you you teach uh, Taekwondo. I didn't know. Yes, I am now a seventh degree, seventh dan black belt in, in Taekwondo. Uh, seventh dan, nice. Uh, okay. Uh, I know you you also have the the gift of music. Uh, it's true that you play the piano. Well, <laughs> when I was young, uh, I was forced to take piano lessons by my parents, and I wish that I took it more seriously uh, because uh, I would love to be able to play any instrument anytime. And so recently, I, I put, after many, many years, I played a little bit on my keyboard and I posted it on Instagram, and that's why you think that I could play <laughs> piano. But... For, the mother, for the mother, Mother's Day, right? <laughs> Say that again? For Mother's Day, yes. And for I Mother's played, Day, the, yes. yeah, I played but, uh, the, the piece for at least by Beethoven that I, I remembered in my head that I played long time ago when I was like 13 years old. I had to play it for a piano recital, and so... So that that's why I picked that piece. Now, um, I may, if I if I could get it back, I may put another piece on Instagram. I won't tell you what it is yet, but it's also another classic uh, classic piece by a, a classic composer. Okay. Nice, nice. Maybe no no promises, but I might if I if I could remember it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you play another instrument apart the the piano? Well, I also took a very little bit of guitar lessons in in high school, but much less than much less than piano. So I don't really for them. You could say I don't play guitar. I I just learned some chords and could uh, just lead some people in singing very basic. Uh, church songs, but but not nothing fa nothing fancy like like Beethoven or or Bach or or anything like that. Okay, nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you, you were in the video clip of a music band. Uh, tell us, uh, tell us about about it. Oh, you you're talking about the. Uh, The music video. A music video, yes. Yeah, 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 called the Soka Slide, yes. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what's what's happening with that. Uh, yes, they, the church, the, uh, yeah, fans could check it out. I know it's on YouTube. But uh, the DJ who, who created that video was looking for a martial artist, and he knew me from... Uh, the same g gymnasium where I used to teach Taekwondo. So he asked me if I would be part of a, a video. He he knew, he found out about me being in Mortal Kombat 2. And so he asked me if I would like to be part of a music video. I said, what is it? Or, you know, what type of visit, video is it? Like, I did not want to be part of like a gangster rap video f r with very trashy scenes or, 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 you know, lots of swear words or stuff like that. So I, so I made sure it was clean and he said it, he's doing it with, uh, with, um, do if I'm sure a lot of my fans would know the cha-cha slide. It's a fa very famous, uh, uh, um, what do you call it? The line dance. Yes. Line dance that, children learn in school and so forth. Anyway, so my DJ friend and the guys, the DJ Casper, which is uh, who did the cha-cha slide, and another famous DJ, they, uh, they all uh, came up with this soca slide, and he asked me if I would do some martial arts scenes, and then I said, sure. So that's how I got involved. Uh, now... Some of my fans know that I could also dance. Um, yeah. For the most, for the most part, salsa 
uh, bachata swing and so forth. Yes. You don't yes, the bachata I, here in Argentina. <laughs> in Argentina. Right, right, on stage with Raiden. I remember. Uh that was good times. There was very I I love that memory. But any anyway, um so I I suppose I could have stayed for the whole whole evening of making the video and danced, but you know, I'm busy. I'm a doctor, so I I I I did my video uh and then I I left. So and then It took a like like what most things um it took a while the music video came out about a year after I I filmed maybe even a little more than a year but yeah wow okay that's that's nice okay the next question is if you speak spanish but i i certainly know that you speak uh, spanish very well uh, gracias so <laughs> gracias okay Let's talk about uh, how did you get the your role in, in Mortal Kombat 2. You tell us that you know uh, Hoson Park. Uh, he he was the first contact to introduce you at at the game. Yes, so um Mortal my involvement with Mortal Kombat 2 is in chapter 18 of my book. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> I, uh, so Anyway, uh, yes, when when I was in medical school, I, as I said earlier, uh, I was, you know, you can't study 24 hours. So sometimes uh, I took a break. To, right, right. So my most of my relaxing was playing sports or martial arts. So I, I went and uh, I did some Taekwondo at, at times at a, at a gym and Um, there I, I I met Ho Sung and Ho Young Pak and um, but they did wushu I did taekwondo so we practiced differently but then sometimes I I sparred uh, with Ho Ho Young oh, yeah. Ho Sung's the, brother the the, 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 your, the young brother yes right okay. and, uh, and so uh, but at but then after I I left that campus they were uh, they became uh, recruited to play um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the, the martial arts, not, not, the act, not the acting, but the martial arts. And so they oh, became you, popular. You, no, Ho Sun and Ho Young. Ah, okay. No, 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 they were. They were. I know Daniel played, but they, they, them, they themselves played uh, more major roles um, as the uh, Ho Sun, for example, was Raphael. In, Raphael, yeah. Yeah, in uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies. But anyway, so I, I was happy for them, but I, you know, I, I continued my medical studies. And then when I came back to Chicago for my training, my re it's called the re residency or resi residencia. Residencia. Any, uh, residencia. Yeah. So when I was in residencia, I I just one day I happened to run into Ho Sung at a restaurant like purely by chance coincidence if if you believe in coincidence I uh, I actually don't believe in coincidence so and I say that in my book uh so uh so he like I said he talked about his we talked about the movies and then he he mentioned that he just filmed for this video game, Mortal Kombat. It's going to be big. And I didn't know much about video games. But, you know, before I knew it, it became huge. And then, like I said, he invited me to work out uh, at the same gym where where he trained with Daniel and Tony Marquez. And let's see, eventually, John Parrish, uh, Sonia... So, um, Liz Malecki, Sonia Blade, Catalan, yeah, Catalan Zamier. Uh, we all trained there. They, they more than me because I was in the suburbs during doing my residency. So I came to into Chicago to train with them, uh, maybe once a week or so. Okay. And then, okay. Like, and then, like I said, uh, Mortal Kombat became big, and so they wanted to 
film a sequel, Mortal Kombat 2, where Ho um, Shang Tsung would become young to be and enter the tournament. So okay, uh, they they let me, uh, let me ask. Let me ask. The, there are a few photos and videos of Mortal Kombat 2 uh, the, of, for the, the development. Uh, do you know why there are no photos or videos? Well, because Mid Midway um, sold the rights to NetherRealm. That that's probably why the the videos that I I posted on videos and photos that I posted on my Facebook fan page and sometimes some on Instagram. There they were my own. I I had I was very uh, intuitive and brought my own camcorder to and to videotape myself when I was taping for Mortal Kombat 2. And oh. and yeah, so I brought a friend who took the video and who took pictures and so forth. Okay. Uh, do you keep the original Jansun costume? So uh, again, I'll mention in my book, but but okay, okay. Uh, I brought my own martial arts shoes and pants, and the rest were just given given to me by Midway, by John, really, but they were so cheap. It, it, that kept falling off my, my body when I was filming. They were very cheap. Even though Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat 2 made lots of money, millions and millions of dollars, not, not much money was spent on costume. Okay. Okay. Uh, thanks. Did you know that in Argentina there was a magazine that released ex exclusive action figures of Mortal Kombat? No, I I did not. I've seen some some uh, pictures of uh, top kids, right? Yes, top kids. Yes. So uh, somebody, some fan, did post um, action a picture of action figures, including Shang Tsung from Mortal Kombat to me. Yes. Oh, wait, you're right there. Okay, thank you for showing me. <laughs> so, one day, oh wow. Okay, I need to get that. One day, uh, I'll get that when I'm in Argentina again. The, the next time I see you, I, I will give you one. Oh, one great. Sunan. Gracias. Or and then you could bring one for yourself, and I will gladly autograph it. Okay. That will be nice. Okay. Thanks. Yes. Uh, okay. Let me ask uh, about your exit from Midway. Uh, why did you decide to leave me Midway? Okay, so that's complicated, and it's it's mentioned in my book. What chapter is it? Um, so it's mentioned in chapter twenty. It's called Fame Without Fortune. So the Fame Without the, Fortune. Yes. So the fortune, all of the fortune went to Midway. They made. I'm sure more than millions, billions of dollars off of Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat One, uh, Two, and they want they they only paid us a modeling fee, one day modeling fee, and that was it. And they wanted to they wanted us to sign a, a big contract that basically said we have no right to to say that we uh, own we we get a royalties or um, residuals from any anything they sell that includes our image and so forth. So some of us signed and and went on to be in Mortal Kombat 3 and so forth, but most of us did not sign and because we did not want uh, we didn't believe that they were they had our best Midway had our best interest and so that's why most of us um, from Mortal Kombat Catalin, Two. yeah. Uh, Dan, da, Danny, Daniel. Yes. Uh, Josun Pak. Liz, Ma Liz, Liz Malaki. Liz Malaki. Liz Malaki Who left else? in uh, after Mortal Kombat One, or, or did you see it in the in the Mortal Kombat Two set? 
No, I didn't see her. Uh, but she was, she's just in the background, the image. But she didn't film for Mortal Kombat 2. No. Okay. But I, I mean, that was, that was probably just because she was not part of the storyline. Not because uh, okay. they had, she had any problems with Midway. Not that I know of, anyway. Okay, okay. Okay, let's talk about uh, about your, your book. Uh, it's, uh, how long did you stay to, to write it? Okay, so this is how this is how I even thought of writing a book. Okay, so at the Christmas party 2018, okay, uh, Tony, uh, Tony Marquez, Kung Lao, has a Christmas party every year for his martial arts school, okay? And so Christmas party yes, 28, yes. pardon me? Uh, the, the martial arts school, EFK. E yes, exactly. EKF, EKF, I believe. E EKF, EKF. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, so he has a Christmas party, so I went to it, um, and there, Ryan, who's a big fan, interviewed us both together and he asked Tony so Tony I heard you're writing a book what's it going to be called when is it coming out so Tony said it's going to be called Kung Fu Rockstar and it should be out in 2019 and um, it's in the it's on YouTube so it's not like I'm <laughs> I'm letting out a secret or anything but anyway and then Ryan said so Philip, when are you writing a book? I said, I don't have time to write a book, but maybe if someone wants to, I will dictate my life story and they could write a book. And so I was joking. I wasn't thinking of writing a book, but I mentioned this conversation to my daughter. Uh, my, my fans should know that I have a daughter who just turned 19 years of age and she's going to be, she's in university and she's going to be a future doctor too. Uh, and she's a great oh. athlete. Right? Great tennis player. Yes. What's, what's yes, her she's name? Abigail. 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 Okay. Yes. Nice. So any, anyways. You are, when I, you are proud. Oh, I'm very proud of her. Yeah, she's, she's also a big part of my book, as you, as you would imagine. But um, anyway, back to the story. I, I said uh, why well, I mentioned that my interview to my daughter and my daughter said, Yeah, you should write a book, even if it doesn't get published. I would like to, I'd, I would like to um, read about your life story. And I said, hmm, okay. So that got me thinking. And so I started writing in a journal, in a, the, basically a diary, my life story. When I was at work in between, you know, when I had free time, this was like January of 20. 2019 and then um so if you if you for those who don't know me i am once i get very determined once i make up my mind i get very determined i get very focused so you have a, a lot I, of discipline well yes but that is very different from when i was growing up and that's part of why I wrote this book. I didn't. I did not. I did not obtain discipline until university. Until I had a goal to become a doctor, and so starting at that age, I became very focused and very disciplined. And so, when I decided that, you know, that I should try to write a book, I started writing, and then eventually typing on a computer, and then. Correct, reading it and correcting it, and then I, I presented my uh, manuscript to you know to my daughter to read for a little bit, and then to other people to read, and they said you have a basis for a book, and and so I keep I kept correcting it, and then and then finally I met um, my who was to become my editor and I asked her if this book was ready to be published. She said, no. And so she and I uh, redid it many times until finally 
uh, mid June or late June of last year, 2019, uh, it was ready. And so we put it on Amazon to be published. Um, so I wrote this book in five months. Wow, that's a, a record. <laughs> well, like I said, if when I get focused, I, you know, I'm very determined. Is there a, a possibility that you do it in Spanish, your book? Well, so uh, the the book also tells you about how I learned Spanish, but I learned Spanish by myself. Not I did not take any courses in school. And so my Spanish that I use every day with my patients, uh, con mis pacientes, is... Mm -hmm. Mostly, mostly medical medical Spanish. It is not. I didn't learn it in school, so it would be more. It would be difficult to translate this uh, to Spanish by myself. Now, uh, you're going to read it, and you said uh, you have a friend who does this a lot, so they could read it and see if if the stories and the and. So see if the stories and the jokes that I tell okay. could have the same okay. the same meaning in in uh, in, in, in Spanish. Spanish as it as it does in English, because I do like to use humor a lot. I mean, da Daniel Pacina, Johnny Cage, I make him laugh all the time because when he says something, I always joke about it. And 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 but it's you know meaning meaning is not the same in when you ch say it from English to Spanish and vice versa, you know, so. Okay, okay, I, I understand. Right. Uh, okay, uh, go on. Uh, what, uh, okay, let's talk about uh, Mortal Kombat, the movie. What do you think of the, the performance of the actor who played the role of Shang Tsung in the Mortal Kombat movie? So the actor is good. He's, he's, known, he's a well-known actor. But he's not a martial artist. I don't. Uh, I don't understand why. Why um, they didn't ask. I mean, I know why they didn't ask us because we were in a fight with Midway. But they should have gotten good martial artists to do the martial arts in Mortal Kombat. I don't. I don't think the mar martial arts outside of uh, the ninjas and uh, Liu Kang. Uh, I don't think the martial Ken, arts was, the, the, was the actor who, who plays Liu Kang. Uh, yeah, was, uh, Robin Shao. Uh, it was a close friend to Ho Sun Pak, I read somewhere. Oh, no. Robin Shao was, was the girlfriend to Ho Sun Ho Pak, no. In the movie, in the movie, Robin, Liu Kang and Kitana sort of became a couple at the end. But in real life, they don't know each other. Okay. Uh, what do you think with the, the evolution of or, or change of the characters over the years of the character of Shang Tsung? Um, well, as as I said, I'm a, I'm busy. I'm a doctor. I'm a father, so I don't play many video games. Uh, I've only when I when I go to Galloping Ghost Arcade. I only play Mortal Kombat 2 <laughs> and 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 even that even my fans could kill me using my own character Shang Tsung, you know. So Okay, it's the best the best, the best, character, <laughs> yeah. the best character in Mortal Kombat 2. <laughs> right. Yes, gracias. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh he So I don't play many games, so I, I haven't seen the evolution of Shang Tsung. I know Uh, John Turk played Shang Tsung in Mortal Kombat 3. Um, I, so it's more of a Chinese character, I know that, with the long ponytail and the, the cat-like stance that he has. And then the Mortal Kombat, the latest one, is it 11? Uh, 11. Yes, with, with the with the model of the same man from same actor from the movie. Those are the only Shang songs I've seen. I don't, I don't need, I don't know the other Shang songs from any of the other video games. Okay. From 
Eh, yeah. Okay, bueno, well, let's talk let's talk uh, with some fans questions. Uh, Fabricio Solís ask what is your favorite Mortal Kombat character? Uh, you you recently said uh, Shansun, right? Well, it would have to be, especially because I could turn into any character I want to, right? But um, but when I choose somebody to, if I'm playing again and playing Mortal Kombat 2 and I choose somebody else, I choose the whatever they special effect that they have. So I choose Sub Zero because I want to freeze them or freeze the ground, or I I choose Liu Kang so that I could do the bicycle kick. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> But that's pretty much it. I, I, I don't remember playing other characters unless I turned into them by accident from Shang Tsung. You know, then I have to quickly think, what okay. does this, <laughs> what, what can I do with this person, you know, with this character? <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, Liu Kang, I have an, an anecdote. Uh, one of the nights we went out for a drink with Danny Pesina, Carlos Pesina, Alfredo Sanchez, and some others of, from the group. I remember we went uh, to the O'Donovan's bar in Chicago. Uh, remember when I was in Chicago? Yes, yes. I I heard you complaining about that everyone, <laughs> every, <laughs> you you know that. Uh, yes. I yes. hear you complaining about the that everyone always confused you With Liu Kang, even I, I saw that in your book. Uh, you right. make a, a, a mention of that, that you ever, yes. you, your new film has confused you. Do you want to tell us about, <laughs> about that? Well, I think uh, it's easy for for the world to, when when they say, oh, you were part of Mortal Kombat, and they just think of an Asian character and they say, oh, Liu Kang. So were you Liu Kang? I mean, it, it's easy, right? And so so that's what happens most likely. Even my cousins <laughs> who, aren't, who are Korean, even they thought that I played Liu Kang. So, <laughs> so I'm not offended, but it, it, it's funny that, that uh, when, when people don't know me and they find out I'm in Mortal Kombat 2 or, yes, Or any of the Mortal Kombat series, they 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 think, oh, Liu Kang, because he's the most, because he's the most stereotypical Asian character in in the game. Okay. But 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 I will say I will say, um, I've been recognized a couple of times in the streets as Shang Tsung, from true fans. They they must have recognized me, from my. Uh, uh, Fan, fan page on Facebook, and they came up to me and said, did you play Shang Tsung in Mortal Kombat 2? I said, wow, I wow. can't believe they, yes, I can't believe they didn't call me Liu Kang. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Uh, how was your, uh, John Blaze asked, how was your physical preparation for the role? So, uh, physical preparation. I didn't. I didn't do anything special. I was already a a, a fifth degree black belt in Taekwondo, and I was in. I was fit. I was in shape. So I didn't need to lose weight or gain any more muscle than I had. I was already. That part was easy. So. Okay. Physically, it was not challenging at all. Okay. What is your current re relationship with Ed Boon, Ed Boon and John Tobias? Well, um, Ed Boon is still very involved with NetherRealm. Uh, I've only seen him once. Uh, it, it, and that was at Galloping Ghost. And we were fine. We're not friends, but I mean, I don't have a, a bad relationship with Ed Boon. Uh, by any means, no, nor with John Tobias. Uh, when John Tobias came to Chicago, we all, all of, all of us went out and, and just talked about the good old days. So it, even, even those of us who, uh, part, parted ways with Midway, 
for the most part, we did not part ways with John, Tobias, or Ed Boone. Uh, now, Daniel Piscina might have a different story, but, but I personally, I just went to Midway to film the game. Yes, the other characters were my friends, but Ed Boone and John Tobias were not my friends growing up, so I did not really know them. So I, my relationship with them didn't didn't change uh, okay. once I left Midway. Yes. Okay. Uh, Marcos uh, MKP ask uh, ask if the tapes that you share from Shansun, your personal tapes, are the only ones that you have, of the reality, of if you have more. The only one, oh, tapes, oh, um, well, I mean, so I taped the entire four hours that it took me to tape Shang Tsung, um, and then I, I gave that footage to, to Doc Mack, the owner of Galloping Ghost, and he made it into a DVD. And so what I share were, were clips from my DVD. Um, okay. Do, do I have other pictures and other videotapes of, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, of, of just us um, from not just that day, but the day that we've, we made uh, um, the, the poster for the to, – to, For the advertisements of, the of yeah, yes. And then like other demonstrations we might have done, we did and so forth. I probably have those somewhere, but I have not, I've not posted it and I haven't even looked at it. Um, I have a lot of things that I haven't posted or even looked at uh, since, <laughs> since taping. Only recently did, did I put things up on, um, in my house, like uh, all the memorabilia that that I collected uh, throughout the years wow. that fan, fans would think, wow, incredible, the original memorabilia. But uh, I, I kept all of them, uh, some in good shape, some not in, not in great shape. But I, I don't, oh. I have no, I have no uh, interest in selling them they're they're for me you know i i want to keep them for myself and and maybe okay. my my children in the future I, you know they're unique they're they're a piece of history my history you know yes i know maybe one day you can share photos in your instagram to to the fans but it, it's it's okay. called it's called that okay uh well well i, I have a lot of questions more but Uh, we have only one hour, so uh, I, wa I want to thank you so much for this interview and for answering all the questions. And I, I want to, to tell you if, you if you do, do you like to add something else before we go for the fans? Well, I mean, I, I appreciate very, very much all the fans. Um, in Argentina and throughout the world that, that really, uh, resurrected my, my fame. Uh, I even dedicated a chapter in my book, uh, called fame resurrected in chapter 28 where, and the, and the photo, I, I lead all my chapters with photos and the photo is with me from on stage and you're in it <laughs> from, Oh. Facundo, you're you're part of it from uh, Buenos Aires, you know. So, Whoa. so <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, thank you to all my fans um, who have been faithful all these years and who have uh, res resurrected my fame and and who who think who who especially if they they think I'm a good role model because I'm a doctor. That's what I want to be. I, I want my fans to remember me at, for, for as a good role model, as a doctor, a dad, a father, um, a missionary to uh, 
to poor people in, in developing countries and so forth. And so, yes, I, I'm very thankful to be a model in a video game, be an actor in a video game, but, but I'm more thankful, thankful to God that, that he allowed me to uh, share my story to, to my fans that, that they could, that hopefully they could be inspired to, to do nice. great, great things. Okay, we need to, to read your book. So we, <laughs> we, we share the, the link for, for the fans who want the, to read your book. Uh, I really I appreciate your, your time. And okay, I, I, I appreciate your time too, thank you. And, and any time, Facundo. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for your fr friendship too. Eh, bueno, okay. ahí los fans te, te están saludando mucho. Tenemos muchos comentarios de los fans que, que te, te mandan saludos y que te hacen preguntas. Eh, tenemos material para mucho, pero bueno, ya tenemos que, que cortarlo, Philip. Te mando, I, I send you a, 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 a big hug. Eh, ok. And thanks, uh, thanks un abrazo. Todos. Gracias a, a ti. Ok, gracias a vos. Ok, cuídate. Cuídate. Ok, bye. Bye. Bueno, mandamos un saludo a todos los fans y la semana que viene vamos a estar en entrevista con Anthony Márquez. Disculpen que no pudimos tener eh, imagen. Vamos a tratar de resolver esto para la próxima entrevista. Y bueno, agradezco realmente a todos por su, por su tiempo.